What exactly is a divergent? Are they simply people who try to use magic beyond their level scope and then go crazy? I'm not sure. I thought for a second they were talking about pre-existing Isekai characters, like they're all already onto the plot and some other Isekai characters are showing up, but I don't really think so. We meet the heroine as well, and the heroine is too nice. It's just like grossly nice. You you ever have people that's like acting so nice to you and you're like, I want to hate, but I can't because you're just showing me too much kindness. That's, that's the way I'm feeling with you right now. We've, I think, had a couple more time skips. We're going into the school on like an expedited admission because we're just so OP. The king has, you know, his men kind of looking over us so that we don't go crazy. Let's begin today's reaction. The Saints Watch. Okay, and we're gonna be her like bodyguards. Okay. What if she's not? She has to be. Too nice. I hate it. You're ruthless? Wait, what did she say? Her head is quite the lovely field of flowers. That's basically saying she's so dainty and nice and kind. But she literally has no brain. It's just flowers in there. <laughs> Even the king admits it. Alright, we're gonna be like her assistants. We're gonna support her. Pretty much. That's where we come in. We got a shit on her. So, this is basically a cult. People are worshipping her, just on their knees, just praising Lisa Nalgaib. Alicia will show up and then <laughs> prevent this? Is that even a good thing? Yeah. Are we trying to get hated? Are we gonna call out the saint and then get all the masses to hate us? And then that's how we become the best villainous ever? Oh. It's our opportunity. She just said that out loud. She literally just said vill villainous? Villainous? O okay. さいこだ。ちょっと待って、ミスマスわよ。もう何年も通っていますわ。おお、what a what about Unk? Unk gonna stay back here? Probably not. This a guy that pretty much like kicked him out. Nah, there's gotta be a way to return that shit. Cause like, there's a guy that literally called him out for trying to change the status quo. I'm thinking it was a silver hair dude, right? That was like pretty against Alicia as well before he started to like look over her. There's gotta be a way to bring Will back. Oh, what the fuck? She. What the? I thought they did. Do they? Do villainous really act on logic? Of all the different ultimate, you know, shows that I've seen, the villainous is always just like, just taunting and just provoking for no fucking reason, and just trying to be evil. What's happening? Wait, the moment we left, the village was under attack? 
No, 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 what's going on? Her magic works. I'm noticing a pattern. At this point, it's not even just a pattern, it's every episode where she does something good and she says, This is what a villainous would do. What exactly about this being a villainous? She is like the epitome of a good person trying to bring reform to this world to make sure that people in poverty and people branded as criminals can have a second chance and live in peace. Everything she does is so nice and full of good intentions. Yet she's trying to roleplay as a villainous. It's just like, all the actions you're doing, you look like the saint to me. Okay, they can't see us anymore. Why not? Is it forbidden to use magic here? Oh. Maybe she can if we bring her back to the kingdom. I feel like there's still a chance. Just bring her back to the kingdom. <laughs> He's saying greatest villainous. <laughs> yeah, what's your definition of a villainous? He's actually bringing this up. Okay. Strong woman. Does it? Dark magic has healing? That'd be light magic. Inflammation made her realize something. Okay. Is she just basically getting rid of the inflammation? I think so. Basically, she's sucking all the bad hurt stuff out, right? She, she's just taking the injury. Get out. You motherfuckers bringing up level 99 villainous as a gameplay mechanic on dark magic having healing is ridiculous. This is not the same show. It's not even the same fucking game. Then you're expecting me to get... What? What is the logic there? It happened in this show so it should happen here? You know that's some bullshit. What kind of fucking dark magic actually has healing? You know that's cap. That's light magic. You gonna cut that leg off? Oh, I amputate. Amputate! Oh! They probably think we killed the girl. Okay, I think we amputated her leg. Ooh. Lost that foot, though. There's no way to beat that? It's too far gone? Irreversible? Someone gonna give her a prosthetic leg? Hello? You be dead. You'd be actually dead. Oh, I'm just a villainous. I did it for myself. Yeah, I didn't do it for you. I'm a villainous. And a villainous does whatever she wants. Yup, yup. Mm -hmm. This is how I justify all the saint-like activities I do. You will now be my servant. Alright, here we go. Another slave acquired. What a villainous. <gasps> Lady Rebecca. <laughs> Your savior? So I can use a saint as a pretext to become a villainous. Well, okay. Alright, we're setting stuff up because a saint, you know, has her eyes on Rona as well. With this new girl, Rebecca, she'll reunite the peoples of this village and then somehow... This will help us to become a villain. Okay. No. What's the essay actually? <laughs> the main plot points, you know, has Rowena as a driving force. Old man Will wants to stay here in exile. Rowena might end up just being a very uh, thriving little village. I keep forgetting that there's an actual barrier of entry here. Why 
Yes, kid, you are... Your spawn point, your RNG spawn point determined that you are evil. Yep, that's what this kingdom has deemed you to be. Being little is my weapon? Alright, Shota. The Saint! Why is your neck stiff in the morning, Saint? What you fucking doing with that neck all night long? Off to school we go! You're too good. It's too OP. I want her to go on the swordsmanship tournament, though. He's just like a bag holder. Oh my god! She has a servant, a man, a kid servant! A child from a poor family? She is evil. Yeah. How dare you touch my hair, bitch! Yeah. Saints, are we gonna be nice to her? Are we gonna be nice to her meme? But she's too nice! We already have a pre-established relationship. We can't just turn on the saints right now, can we? <laughs> She's just walking around with her fucking arm every day. The conquerable characters, bro. Where the prince at, though? The the captain of the pedo squad isn't here yet. You are unpleasant. Yep. Yep. Slap her in the face! No! <laughs> Do this too! No! Yeah. Oh! Oh shit! We're doing it. All right, this is okay. This is getting real good now. We've been waiting. Like, like I, this should have happened a lot sooner, but they've been doing a lot of build-up. Right now, we're in the academy. We're in the school, same school setting. There's a lot of different eyes observing this, and if people see us acting like this against the saint, ooh, the drama. That's right. And also, shouldn't the villainous get some lackeys? Like, the villainous always has, like, you know, like, girls around, like, minions around, right? Or maybe we just need our manserve and that's it. Pretty good intro, yeah. This poor kid has no clue what's going on. Teleport? She got summoned? She got summoned. Ew, what the fuck? What is this doing? What is- what are you doing here? What- did he just summon us? I am good. What are you doing? <laughs> He's just leaning in. <laughs> so, girl, this, this is still so weird. It's gonna be weird forever. Like, straight up, like, 20 and 25 sounds okay. But 13 and 8... This guy has just, it's just, I know it's a different setting. It's a different time. I get it. But they've been trying to court her since she was like seven, eight years old, man. <laughs> you left too much of a lasting impression on the prince. Right. Oh, what the fuck? Oh yeah, that's what he was pre-ordering! Literally pre-ordering back then, bro! He he gave her that! That's right, we're still wearing it! <laughs> I don't think so. She's gonna kiss it. Ew, ew! Ew! <laughs> 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 Looks like she can't do anything in front of him. As much as this is fucked up, the PDF Riz moments are honestly one of the most entertaining moments. Listen, PDF bad! Of course it's bad! But this show just... Him pre-ordering the necklace at seven, eight years old! <laughs> it's pretty much the bulk of the entertainment comes from. Oh god. 
Yeah, Prince Duke is a demon, man. Mm. He played you like a fool. <laughs> Look at this harem. The tea party is just her and like 17 manservants. Holy shit! The whole fan club is here! Look at this shit! No, straight up! Our twin brothers are also here! One, two, three, four, five! Like, like, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Holy shit! And this is her entourage every day! It's just a casual tea party for her. Oh, the essay about Rowena. All people are equal. Isn't that what Alicia was literally saying, though? Like, when the king was asking us, how do you feel about, you know, our place? And she was like, I think it's shit. I think that you're missing out on talents dying out because you branded them as, you know, poor criminals in Rowena. We should, you know, strive for a civilization where meritocracy, each individual has the resources and opportunity to succeed no matter where they're born. Isn't this exactly what we want? I don't think our citizens will be pleased though. Maybe this is a more naive outlook, right? Even though there's some similarities of like what she wants and what we wanted, like simply getting rid of the barrier that is not going to make things okay. It's going to be even worse, right? This is like a naive, idealistic take on a situation where things might be all rainbows and pretty, but let's get real. The citizens will be fucking pissed. There's a lot of people that's going to gatekeep saying like, nah, those pores can stay out there. It's going to be even worse. Maybe a war will break out. <laughs> oh, up in the air? Oh my god. <laughs> this is very villainous. Well, the unrealistic part is simply removing the barrier and expecting both people from the poverty-stricken place and our elites to get along. You know that's not going to work, but I guess she doesn't know. She's right about that. There has to be a compromise in between. The villainess gets folded in the game at that point. Not simple. No, I'm saying that people like your dad actually. That's the funniest part because his dad is like the biggest hater in there. And I think his dad is the one that, you know, sent, you know, old man Will to the village when we were trying to bring up like how to change the status quo. It's all about like, no, the people of the village will be fine. It's about how your elite people here are going to respond. A bunch of, you know, poor people start flooding in. No, no, no. They're going to be so fucking upset. True. Oh, she's so disgustingly wholesome and nice and good. And even though she's right, it's just like a part of me just wants to reject it. Yes, a pragmatic way to settle it. Oh, what the fuck? You see, oh, whoa, whoa, you see that eye? Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you see this guy's eye? Watch, watch, watch. Frame by frame. The fuck? What was that? What was that? <laughs> is this like video game mechanics? Like basically in the in the game, this is where Alicia's retort would have just sent Villainous home crying and the princess would be like, oh, our Alicia's actually, our, 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 our saint is so correct. But here it's just like the game is now like, oh, different route. They've now acknowledged the Villainous's opinions. They are much more favorable towards her. The course of the story is now shifting. I think that's what's going on. Only him though, no other prince. This guy just been, <laughs> he, he's been just looking at his pre-ordered bride for the entire time. Let's get real. Wait a minute. Was that the same guy that his eyes flashed? No, it wasn't. Different guy. Different guy, different guy. Different guy. Yeah, yeah. That's our twin brother too, I think. Not this guy, but the guy that's eye flashed. True. The bond. 
Don't make fun of my friends. Fuck your conquerable friends. They're a bunch of NPCs. Mm. Must be nice, huh? Yeah, and how... That's so true. She is literally the symbol of inequality. She's been given everything to succeed. How then could a person like that start talking on behalf of other people in such an idealistic, naive way? Alicia had to grind. Listen, you could say that Alicia is also different. She is for sure. But she grinded. She was like seven years old doing like 50, like 500 push-ups. She grinded so hard for this. Why is there a bakery profession being shit on right now? The example right now is given to illustrate the difference between the elites and the peasants. But like, damn, just the... Come on, the bread girl looks like she's having fun. True. Spit. A nice place where everyone gets along, no matter what. Thoughtless lip service. Damn. And I think a person that is truly gifted and given everything that lives would definitely think that the idealistic outcome could happen. That if we just remove the barrier, everyone would just have happiness. Because from her perspective, Liz has just lived such a nice life, right? Yeah, she might be from like a common place, but she's been granted so much talent. Everything just works out for her. Of course, someone like her is going to be deluded and think that everyone's thing, everything is just going to work out. It's not. Oh. Oh, a duel between ideals. Alright. Out debated. <laughs> Can you just leave like that? Can you just call yourself the winner of a debate? <laughs> I expected better of a fight. I spend all my days on Reddit and Twitter fighting just little ants like you. This is nothing. Bye-bye. <laughs> the ultimate keyboard warrior, Alicia, and the Duke loved that. Prince Duke loved that shit. She might learn from something and not even benefit, maybe. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> he just got fucking mad for no reason. No, there is a reason. It's just this guy is like in top of, in terms of like a queue, like a priority of like who is closest to Liz. Like he's probably still at the bottom, right? He, he who the fuck is he? I don't even remember him as like there's like the core princes, and then these are and then there's some additions. And now this guy, he's probably gonna be the guy that we dunked on, dunk on next, right? He's definitely gonna give us great content next episode, though. <laughs> I'd say you won. Great performance. The greatest villainous. <laughs> Title drop. And that's today's episode of Villainous. And oh my god, I think this is the best episode so far. So far, the previous episodes has kind of just been carried by sussy ass shit going on with, you know, Prince Duke trying to pre-order. And yes, we had a similar moment like that today when he put her into the library. But beyond that, this tea party, man, this tea party was amazing. Basically, what you would expect from a standard villainous show, right? Villainous show is uh, just lashes out on like the nice girl and it's all fun. And she is right. The best part is what she's saying is absolutely correct, right? Liz the Saint has very idealistic waves. And I think that for sure you should chase after those ideals. But once you've once everything just kind of works out for you, once you've just been given everything, of course she's from a peasant class, but despite that, she is just so, she's basically God's favorite child. Of course she's gonna think that everything's just gonna work out because the world is such a nice, kind place. No, the world is a nice, kind place to you specifically, not necessarily for the people of Rowana. If you just brought down the barrier and expected everything to just happen, well, nah, there's gonna be war. There's gonna be people that's mad on our side saying like, how dare these peasants, you know, dare to think that they're equals and stuff like that. And Alicia's right. There's gotta be a compromise. Simply just thinking things will just work out as stupid. You need to have the proper procedures in place to make sure that if you try to, you know, up, uh, upheave the status quo, what are you going to do about the aftermath? How are you going to make sure that the nobles and the shit are not going to be so hostile towards the new people coming in? And the blonde guy here? <laughs> Again, who the fuck is he? He's not even the main princess? Looking like he's going to be our main source of content next episode. So yes, we're going to be just, ooh, it's going to be even better. That's it for me. If you're still here, 
If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.